so few remain. One of the last surviving Tuskegee Airmen died today. A local man who was part of that elite group of World War II pilots. They fought the Nazis abroad only to face racism here at home. Kick on Orange County reporter Stacey Butler is live in Corona Del Mar right now, right now with more of the passing of Lieutenant Colonel Robert Friend. Stacey. Yeah, Jeff, he's going to be buried here in Corona Del Mar, but this is just going to be the beginning of ceremony and services for him. Today, the Pentagon contacted his daughter and told her that he will get full military honor probably in the next couple of months at the Palm Springs Air Museum. And tonight, I got to sit down with his daughter, Karen, who shared the intimate final moments with her dad. My sister arrived, um, some friends arrived, and once everybody got there, we called the chaplain in, we did a prayer, and during the prayer, right when we said amen, he took his last breath. So we know that he went on his own terms. He made sure everybody he loved was in that room with him. It was the goodbye her dad would have wanted. Lieutenant Colonel Robert Friend was one of the last surviving Tuskegee Airmen. We featured him five months ago on CBS2 series Veterans Voices. Today, he died of sepsis. He was 99. If I could do just one tenth of what my dad did, then I know I'm going to lead a happy life because he touched so many people from all walks of life. Karen Crumlick says her dad was working until last year and signing autographs and speaking to school kids up until last month. To tell them they could do anything they wanted to do as long as they went for it and didn't let anybody stop them from doing it. That was his story. Now it's his legacy. Friend flew 142 combat missions in World War II in P-47 and P-51 fighter aircraft. In his 28-year career, he also flew in the Korean and Vietnam Wars. It wasn't just his service that made him a hero to his youngest daughter. It was his 51-year marriage to her mom, Anna, the love of his life. Featured on a remake of the P-51 Mustang, he flew that he named Bunny after his wife. The Palm Springs Air Museum restored it in his honor. She died nine years ago. He's with my mom, and that was the one thing he wanted nine years ago. He wanted to be with her. Now he's with her. So I just know that they're both happy together, and they're up there going to watch over me. And public services will likely be held for him uh, the weekend of July 4th. And I have to tell you that Karen told me for years her dad would say, when I turn 100, I want to parachute out of a plane with the Golden Knights Army team. Well, in his honor, she plans to do it for him on his birthday in February. That's the latest from Corona Del Mar. Back to you guys in the studio.